Hi, and welcome to The Scoop. This week, I have a good friend, an international entrepreneur, an ICT activist, and someone who's fondly referred to as Addis Hilton. Sophia, it's great to have you here. Thank you very much for coming. Pleasure it's lovely to, to see you, as always. Uh, can you tell me about, a little bit about that modeling career and why it's cut short? Why it's cut short? Because I'm growing older, that's why it's cut short. Then I was a very skinny girl. Mm -hmm. And when I went to the US and somebody finds like, okay, great, um, you'll be a model. And I'm like, oh, really? Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, it's like, oh, wow, what a change. Uh, now I'm, you know, I'm in an industry where I could at least uh, uh, feel attractive. ICT and technology, you have this impression of it being sort of these geeky... Did you find that a contrast? Actually, ICT just came in the way I was really a model. The, 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 the ICT was a side business. <laughs> yeah, they actually. So that was forced upon me. Yeah. There are two things that came out of my career in, in auditing. One was, you know, if you're an auditor, you question things. That's part of your job. You actually go out to question what people do. You're not so friendly. I mean, you're, you're not the friendliest person. So people don't really socialize yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah you hate auditors. I'm not into being loved. Uh, as long as you respect me, I'm happy. But, but that's a contrast. As a model, you want to be loved. I mean, that's part of that modeling issue. You need to be loved in the sense As, that you want people to look at you. That was pure aesthetic, though. But that was pure aesthetic. We used to do a lot of go-tos, right? And you go to and get assessed. Hmm. It was in personality assessment. It was purely on aesthetics. Looks. Yeah. yeah, you had to be a certain size. You have to be, hmm. you know, la la la, and walk. Can you walk uh, right. confidently? According to your profiles, you've been around the world six times. Uh, I tell you, and I did not go for work. If that makes you any jealous, that makes me extremely <laughs> jealous. So purely, this is pure, pu yeah, pure, pure pleasure. pleasure. And it's within the span of maybe eight, nine years' time. So busy with your travels, with your um, with your projects, with the, the the you know being a serial entrepreneur. Time for family now? Uh, not that I'm thinking about. I've been engaged three times. Really? Yes. Okay. That's <laughs> I've gotten close to oh, it. You see now you yeah. now you're opening up a can yes. of worms here. Yes. The future then. What is the future for Sofia Bekele? Actually, I have a new initiative to empower women, young women, and and youth. I'm into that right now. Sophia, you're on the scoop. Give me a scoop. I'm a survivor. I'm going to win Dot Africa. And there you have the scoop, straight from Sophia Bekele, from me and the entire team of the scoop, from the Southern Sun Hotel here in Nairobi, Kenya. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. It's been pleasure. a real pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.